Oh, God, I'm so depressed. Oh, I've just had one of those weeks where everything and everyone lets you down. I was having a cup of tea earlier on, the ginger nut fell in. <laughs> God, this flat is so depressing. Oh, I feel so lonely. I'll turn on the radio, that cheers me up. Great, the Smiths! <laughs> oh, no, their lyrics are so dreary and depressing, aren't they? Now, I'll have a cigarette. That's one thing you can do in the privacy of your own home, isn't it? Because people these days are so anti-smoking, aren't they? I was in a public toilet yesterday and there was two guys in there jacking up heroin. They said, do you mind? Put the cigarette out, please. <laughs> Think about our health. <laughs> but I don't live with my parents anymore, which means I can smoke as much as I like. <laughs> You're not allowed to smoke in the studio, into the park with you. But it's freezing out there, mister. We'll build a shed then. <laughs> a shed? What a great idea, yeah. I'll ring up my good old trusty friend Tony. He's good with his hands, yes. OK. It's good to have someone who lives upstairs who's so good with their hands, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tony, how you doing? Yeah, Sean here, yeah. Listen, could you pop in and build us a shed? <laughs> yeah, I know you live in Muswell Hill now, Tony, yeah, yeah, but listen... <laughs> if you get the British Rail, change it to Charing Cross, get the 14A... Yeah, and I'll make lunch. Yeah, I've got loads of coleslaw. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, Tony's such a good bloke. He's the kind of bloke you can ring up and ask you to make and build a shed for you. <laughs> but sometimes that's not enough, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, cos I'm looking... I'm looking for true friendship. Someone who knows all your strengths and weaknesses and, and someone who won't take any shit from you. If, if you do something wrong, they'll challenge you and question you about it. Oh, no, that's the police, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what can I do to cheer myself up? Brilliant. <laughs> Hello? Neil! God, it's my best friend, Neil! How you doing, Neil? God, I haven't seen you since we were 14. <laughs> Hang on a second, I'll explain you to the audience. Bloody hell, that's Neil, my best friend Neil. We were soulmates, there was blood between us. Every day I used to see Neil. We were young, we were free, we were healthy. We were living in Dublin. I go, Neil, what should we do tonight? Hey, well, we could stand over there for a couple of hours. That's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> isn't it great being so young? Now over here for a couple of hours. Oh, OK, well, there's a night gone. Take care, see you tomorrow, same thing. And we enjoyed ourselves. But then one day I called Neil and said, Neil, what should we do tonight? Over here, over here. He says, sorry, Sean, I can't see you tonight. I've, uh, I've got a girlfriend. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, we were mates for 14 years, but now you've got a girlfriend. Yeah, fair enough. I'll just go home and write some poetry or something. <laughs> Listen to the Smiths. Are you OK? <laughs> but I'll never forget, cos Neil turned around to me and he said, Sean, do you think I would leave you there crying <laughs> when there's room on me horse for two? <laughs> and that was the first time I realised he was on drugs. <laughs> He said to me, he said, Sean, don't worry, she's got a friend. And I went, you little sausage. Because he was, I was on drugs as well. He was, he was a little sausage. <laughs> Bloody hell, Neil, what am I going to tell your mother? She blames me for everything as it is. Uh, there you go, Mr. Smith, there's your son, sorry about that. <laughs> and they threw him in the bin because they're vegetarian, you know? <laughs> well, that's Neil, my best friend, Neil. Oh, let's see what he has to say for himself. Oh, Neil, I've just been reminiscing, yeah. What? So what have you been up to? What, you want to go out tonight? Oh, has she left you then? Huh? <laughs> you don't come running to me. No, don't use me, you bastard. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so confused. Oh, no, I'm starting to get that feeling. <laughs> like I'm going to start singing for no reason. <laughs> Is that the chapter to 
choo choo. <laughs> Riding on time. Shiny, shine, shiny, shine. shine. <laughs> No, no. Oh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Pebbles! What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be down the library complaining. About what? That it's too far away from the post office. You want to do the two things together, don't you? Go on, off you just go. Complain. Complain. Oh, thanks. Bye. Oh, go, go, dancing. <laughs> I must stop eating that cheese late at night, you know. <laughs> and why was I so rude to Neil? He's my best friend. Oh, Neil, Neil, forgive me for... Wait, you're still on the phone? <laughs> Would you get off? You've just blown all the pathos. <laughs> oh, there's nothing else for it. I'm going to kill myself. No, I'll go down the pub and get pissed instead. <laughs> my birthday, Barry. Yeah, well, that's a surprise. I really hate that when you're feeling down and lonely and people rally around you and try to, oh, cheer you up. It's so interfering. I really hate, well, I hate being stabbed and hacked to death a little bit more, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barry, you're not going to believe this. I was down the pub there and they were throwing a surprise party for me. Oh, really? What are you doing? What, what's going on? Nothing. <laughs> Have you got any tinned uh, peaches? Oh, great. <laughs> lucky, eh? I'll tell you one thing, Barry. I hope to God nobody has arranged a surprise party for me at home. That really would take the biscuit. in my life. Well, except for this tin of peaches, of course. And my little box of memorabilia here. This is where I keep all my little keepsakes of the bad times with Susan. <laughs> no, I'm going to kill myself. That's what I'm going to do. Right, I'm going to write a suicide note, leave no unfinished business. I'm going to leave this world. OK, let's see. No milk forever. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to wait until you answer the door. But I want to get this shed built as quickly as possible. Woo! <laughs> what are you doing? Woo! Well, I was about to kill myself, actually. Really? Could I have that bit of carpet in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some coleslaw in the fridge if you want it. Yeah. Well. Is that your toolbox, yeah? No. This is my box of memorabilia. You know, little keepsakes from Joanna. <laughs> What's in yours? Tools. <laughs> she worked on the oil rigs. <laughs> <laughs> well, this shed's not going to build itself. <laughs> right, I'm going to kill myself. Right, he's gone. I'm going to kill myself. How can I kill myself? Oh, I know. I could put this hat on and go down to Barry's pub and say, Jesus loves you! <laughs> no, that'd be too painful, wouldn't it? How would Morrissey kill himself? Well, he'd probably do that, actually, until he died. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy in <laughs> a drunken hour, but heaven... Easy, easy, easy. Suicide Squad. You're breaking the law. No, I'm not. I'm just dancing. Oh, come on, Sonny. We've well, heard of the Morrissey method. No, don't worry, son. <laughs> We're trained in this situation, son. We'll have you out of here in minutes. Don't come any closer. <laughs> or what? And if a ten-ton truck <laughs> to die by your side, the pleasure, the privilege is mine. It's worse than we thought. He's going near the window. Uh, let him. I was trained in ledges. Come away from the window. <laughs> Now, listen, you keep him busy on the ledge, right? I'll nip down the shop and get some pills. We'll give them to him. Pump his stomach out. Do him for attempted. <laughs> Oi, what kind of pills do you like? Uh, pick a mix will be fine, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
Quick, now time to write a proper suicide note. There's a note here from the burglars. Sean Burglar's here. Sorry we couldn't make it this week. <laughs> but the place is crawling with pigs. Good luck with the attempted. Bye-bye, burglars. Such sweet guys, but appalling handwriting. <laughs> Socks still isn't dry. OK, I'm going to write a proper suicide note this time. I'm going to leave nothing unsaid. OK. I was born on the 10th of November, 1965, exactly 153 years before Napoleon crossed the Volga with his vast imperial army and that cheeky grin. £19.49 each. <laughs> The day Uncle Patsy exploded <laughs> and brought the family closer together. <laughs> Seeing those synchronized swimmers <laughs> made me realize how my life had come full circle. <laughs> Woo! Right, that's not finished. Right, one quick look at the script to see if I have a slow, agonizingly slow, de painful death. Oh, and I don't believe it. I changed my mind and run off to America instead. But the police will be back. How can I get rid of the police? I know. In the bath. <laughs> that should do it. I'm off to America. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. <laughs> Right. Right. We'll wait. His socks still isn't dry. <laughs> Will you stop that? It's so distracting. Anyway, he looked better in July. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Did you see anything? Nothing. His skin's gonna be all pruney. Kalom, <laughs> kibbutz. <laughs> Leave my kebab, this is my house. Can't do that, we're waiting for Sean Hughes to come out of the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, my God, is <laughs> No, there he is, Sarge. He may not be dead yet. Right, you're nicked. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be taken down in evidence and maybe used against you in the court. <laughs> no, it's me, really. Uh, let's go back from New York. Obviously, I've changed religion, yeah. Harry Krishna now. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, your next door neighbour. Tony, how are I'm you the doing? type of guy who can ask to build a shed for you, but sometimes that's not enough, is it? It's me. And another thing, I know you Sikhs cause a lot of trouble, it's but me. as far as I'm concerned, it's as me. far as I'm concerned, I don't even. It's me! Sean! <laughs> We write out a cold slot, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> sit, sit yourself down, sit yourself down. Shed's nearly done, though. No. Good, good. So how was America? I thought you'd never ask. Bloody brilliant. I tell you, the Americans, right, they say and shit at the end of every sentence. There's no reason. You just come to say, excuse me, can you tell me there's a good restaurant? You go, sure, up the road and shit. And you go, no, oh, I'm not really hungry, <laughs> that. <laughs> they say and shit all the time. Yeah, I've got to say, thing. this is a great book. Well, it's dead it? funny. You yeah. know how sometimes you can really associate yourself with a character because it reminds you of yourself? Yeah. <laughs> What is it? It's your suicide note. It's great. It's dead funny. You really are pathetic, aren't you? That's personal, Tony. Look, go off and go off and get the cold slow, will you? You know that Tony character, the gullible one? He kills me. He kills me. Sean Hughes, my life is a startled bunny. <laughs> Born on the tenth and those synchronized bloody hell! <laughs> There's some pictures here as well. Sean's mother and father, Sebastian and Carmela, with Sean's first school report. <laughs> Sean always felt inhibited at school after his mother forced him to wear a big white ring around his head. <laughs> An early influence. <laughs> Coleslaw. <laughs> Sean reading his best-selling autobiography. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm rich and famous! <laughs> it's Lovey! Lovey, my, uh, my agent Lovey! Lovey from Lovey's and Lovey's! <laughs> Lovey! 
Yeah, I've just seen them. Yeah, thanks. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Give some loving fans. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's a musical mug. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, it's some musical boxer shorts. <laughs> God, what will I think of next, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any noise, that one. <laughs> Hello, lovey! What, Susan rang? No, I haven't got any time for that adolescent stuff. I'm a busy man. <laughs> the second book? What? Oh, it's already written. By who? <laughs> Ollie. Ollie Vetti. <laughs> Italian fella. That sounds good. What, you want me to write the title? Leave it with me, lovey. <laughs> oh, this business is so false. <laughs> Miss you! <laughs> what? Straight away? Brilliant! Whoa, hey! <laughs> that, that's my chair. <laughs> Gosh, a woman in my house? <laughs> Tracy McLeod from the late show to do an in-depth interview. I'm in Sean Hughes's house for a BBC in-depth look at the man behind the man. A woman in my house. So, Sean, <laughs> how old are you? Well, Tracy, um, that's a hard question. <laughs> Obviously, in my childhood, I was a lot younger. <laughs> 26, sorry about that. <laughs> right, I think that'll do us. That's great. We can edit the music in later. It's a bit Fantastic. short. It's a bit no, short. It's plenty, honestly. It wasn't too... Uh... Believe me, it was great. Oh, uh, great. Before we go, do you think we could just knock off an interview for another programme? Of course we can, Tracy! OK, great. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening and uh, welcome to Radio 4's Where Are They Now? <laughs> <laughs> this business moves pretty fast, doesn't it? So, Sean, how old are you? Well, actually, Tracy, before I answer that, there's a pub just up there if you want to go for a drink later on. I'm through no. in about ten minutes. We could maybe Don't chat about so, the BBC no, really. and stuff, maybe my career. And no. We could... Because I find you quite attractive. No, you know, absolutely in a, not. In a kind of sexual no. way. No, thanks. <laughs> See yourself out. <laughs> Lovely, I can't take the pressure. I'm cracking up. I want a break. Great, three minutes, all to myself. <laughs> well, I can take this up. No, actually, phone off the hook. Don't want any interruptions. I've got three minutes, all to myself. The celebrity at home. Smell up. Success. <laughs> oh, all alone. <laughs> Completely alone. No one to hassle me. Nobody to interrupt me. <laughs> well, I suppose I can use this time to review my life. I get a lot of mail each week. Uh, <laughs> Let's, let's see what this one says, OK? Oh, look at this. Dear Short, I'm 25 years of age. I don't usually write letters like this to lovely, gorgeous, hunky people like you, <laughs> but I find myself strangely and totally attracted to you, Sean. <laughs> oh, God. A phone... Whoa, hey! A phone over here. Oh, isn't that pathetic? A telephone number. That really is pathetic. <laughs> Good God. Hi, is, uh, is that Tina? Yeah. <laughs> Sean here, yeah. OK, I'll meet you at 8 o'clock tonight, OK? Yeah. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I shouldn't really. That's my best friend Neil's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, won't he sit yourself down there? So, God, now, now, Tony, I want to have a little chat, right? Because I know you think the big personalities in life forget the little people like you. And sometimes we do, but not me. Because I, 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 I know the book wouldn't happen without you. <laughs> so I want to give you some money, like, you know, for the book. So uh, here's 4 99 You can get yourself a copy, you know. I don't need it, actually, Sean. I've written my own book. Yeah? What's it about? Sheds? <laughs> <laughs> it's an expose of you, actually. <laughs> Leave it with me, lovey. A personal expose by Tony Bitch. <laughs> Chapter one, Dirty Habits. <laughs> Chapter two, more dirty habits. <laughs> but, uh, right, I'm gonna ring Lovey, we're gonna sue you. You're nothing in this business. Lovey! I don't handle Sean Hughes anymore. Yesterday's man. 
I look after Tony Bitch. Mwah! Hello, <laughs> love it. Mwah! <sighs> Nothing personal, Sean. Are you? Oh, uh -huh. it's like one of those American sitcoms <laughs> where everything was building up to a moral. <laughs> but what is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, the credits have started and we don't know the mo mm -hmm. Tony, the credits have started and we don't know the moral yet! Tony, what's the moral? Probably don't smoke or something. Oh, don't be stupid. We'll ring up Bill Cosby in America. He'll know. They always have a moral. Stop the credits. We're not ready. Stop. Long number. I know, it's L.A. <laughs> oh, he's engaged. <laughs> Just do radar, that's quick. <laughs> he's in, he's in. On the phone to Steve Martin. Yeah, so was I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was bitching about you as well, actually. <laughs> anyway, listen, look, Bill, seriously, like, we're doing a kind of comedy show here and we don't know what the moral is and the credits have already come up. Yeah? Yeah? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah? Don't you feel well? What? No, Bill says that, like, if you don't know what the moral is, just grin inanely at the camera. That always works. <laughs> <laughs> Bill speaking now, Bill speaking. OK, right, write this down, Tony. OK, <clears throat> right, right, you have your friends and you stick with them through thick and thin, yeah? And, um, what? don't fatten the prodigal sheep. <laughs> <laughs> have we got a sheep, have we? No. Nah. Carry on, Bill, yeah, yeah, we're with you all the way, yeah. Yeah, and try to have a super-rich dad and a very understanding mom and some really cute kids. Yes, and there is racial equality in America. Brilliant, Billy. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, what, yeah, what is the moral, by the way? <laughs> Thought as much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen, yeah, well, I'm a big fan of your show as well, actually. <laughs> and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Americans, they say that, they do, I think. Yeah. Okay. okay, Billy, yeah, take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so, what's the moral? Oh, it wasn't important. Uh, just uh, don't smoke or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, I know now, like, uh, that's where I've gone wrong. Uh, it's Neil, it's all about friendship. I'll ring my best friend Neil up, right? And make up, I'll, uh, he'll forgive me. Neil! How you doing? Yeah, Sean here. Yeah, please forgive me. Yes, I didn't mean to hang up earlier on. No, listen, can you meet me tonight? Oh, brilliant. Great. OK, see you in the garden shed. It is finished, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, my second best mate Tony did that for me. He's the kind of bloke you can ask to build a shed for you if you ever need it. Yeah, OK. Listen, anyway, OK, see you at 8 o'clock. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, well, uh, one more thing and we're finished. No, I've got coleslaw. No, ring Tina. Tina! How you doing? Sean here. Ooh, yeah. Well, thank you again, yeah. Listen, I can't really make it tonight. Yeah, well, I've realised the importance of friendship. Neil's friendship is more important to me. Yeah, maybe in, a, in another life, yeah. OK, take care. But, oh, remember, Tina, um, don't, don't smoke, OK? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, that's it. So, uh, well, well, just the garden scene shed to do, so credits! <laughs> <laughs> Neil will be here in a minute. God, we'll have a great old chat about old faces. God, I wonder if he remembers Nettie Griffith's string vest. I've still got it. <laughs> I can amuse him with my musical boxer shorts. <laughs> oh, it'll just be like old times. You might even go and burn down a church. Good old Neil. Hi, Sean. Sorry I can't make it tonight. Me and Tina, uh, we kind of got back together again. Uh, take care, bye. Oh, I'll just have a cigarette while I'm waiting. God, it's funny, I remember me and Neil started smoking together and we got caught in how we laughed and coughed. God, these are quite strong, I must be consolette. 